Okay, the next step that we're going to look at, and this is a very crucial step here, is reviewing campaigns that you have set up. So when you, what this system does is it forces you to save every campaign that you create, which is great because you always want to be saving your work and then having the ability to go back and look at it or edit it or even stop the campaign. So I'm going to review the campaigns that I have. So if I go into my KW, so I've launched some 33 touches, some 8x8s, and I want to go in there and look at these. So from here, just go over to marketing, then market me. And then I will let this load. And then I'm going to click on create marketing. I'm not going to create anything, but I want to go into that marketing section so I can look at it. And again, that's probably up top on your menu, but click create marketing. And then there's this section, and a lot of people don't see this, but this thing called under your design center, it's called portfolio. So your portfolio is everything you have ever done in your marketing section. So if you click on your portfolio, here's where you can access all of your information that you've ever created. So I can look at my campaigns. I, I can actually archive campaigns as well, so I can look at those. And I can look at all of my projects. So my projects are going to be all of those flyers, open house stuff, my um, newsletters, anything that I've created that is not a campaign. So any of those postcards, I can look at that information right here. So I can look at my active listings, and then I can actually pull up one of those if I wanted to. But for this, we're going to look at my campaigns. So I go to my campaigns. Here is every campaign that I've created. And I've obviously done a lot of testing, some dummy ones here. But um, if you watched the previous videos, I created my 12 direct, my open house for buy, my 8x8 open house for buyers, my personal 8x8, my personal 33 touch campaign, and all of these. So then I can access these campaigns. And I can actually go in there, 33 touch for past clients. So the 33 touch that's out there, the standard one, is really not designed. You want to have touches that go out that are um, seeing how everything's going with the purchase of their home and communicating with them in that regards. And you have the ability to do that with the 33 touch. But now I can go in here. I can see how many people I have on that particular campaign. I have eight people. And I can actually go into and see who they all are by clicking contacts. And then history. I can look at as well and doesn't look like anything has gone out to these people because I just put them on it so if I actually go into a 33 this is really cool 33 touch I've done so many of these I apologize I want to make sure I find one with some people on it I think I did a 33 touch for my Rochester agents so these are people in my office so I've got 47 on it and if I actually go to the history what I can do is look at who has opened up. So this thing was sent out to 45 people. I can look at the details and see who opened up that file. So I can look at each person. I can see it was sent, opened, they opened it, sent, and sent, sent, opened. So I can see exactly what happened. It tells me 41 were sent and 10 were open. So I can see that information right from within each campaign. So that is how you find your campaigns and your projects that you've created. So if you ever created a flyer, they'd ask you to give it a name and then put it into a folder. Here's where those folders reside. And then inside of that is going to be the name of that file that you gave it.